There we go. Okay, so I was looking at my shopping list and I was mistaken on the dates. This was 422 that I did in my last Walmart shopping run. 422. And um I had gone for one other thing, but I can't find that receipt. But I wanted to talk about being at the end. <laughs> The end of the line, it is the 2nd of May today, and my fridge looks like this. Pretty spare. I got a lot of lemons, but lemons do not a meal make. I have a little bit of lettuce left, some cucumber, a couple apples, and two small potatoes in that drawer. And in this one, I have some scallions, a large onion, some lemons, some eggs left. What's that? Peaches from a can, half a loaf of bread, two things of the noodles and vegetables that I made, some walnut milk because I ran out of milk, cornmeal, which I had for breakfast, some sugar, some of that soup that I made, and I could eat that today even as a snack, a little bit of orange juice, pastas, and such. I think that's just water. I don't know why I'm saving it, but that's water, too. Why don't we just join the two to oops together? No, messy me. I wanted to show you what I was conjuring up. Oh, goodness gracious, such a messy person I am. My father-in-law, former, ex, late, whatever. He hated what I'd do to a kitchen. I'm not the unmessiest cook around. So I went looking in my cabinet, which is also getting pretty dang sparse. That's an empty Quaker Oats container. I'm thinking about uses for it. And... Uh, I found a can of chickpeas, a can of sweet peas, that jar of korma curry that I never use, simmer sauce, and I put in here a leftover quarter of an onion, uh, one nice sized potato, the rest of my shredded carrots, a little bit of butter, and some olive oil. And I'm going to cook these vegetables up. And once the potatoes and carrots are tenderish, I don't have a cover for it, so I just use a flat frying pan. Sometimes it's opposite if I'm, like, using that one. That one will become the cover. And then I pulled out a piece of chicken breast out of my freezer and cut up two, what do you call them? Two garlic thingies. <laughs> you know, you know, where is that? You know, um, 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 you know, this stuff. Why can't I remember the name? Do you think I'm getting dementia? Oh, God. Anyhow, so that's going to be lunch. It's going to be like a chicken curry with the chickpeas, the sweet peas, the potatoes, carrots, onions, garlic, and chicken. You just make do with what you got. And that's what I got. That's pretty much it. It's going to be lunch and it's going to be good. And this isn't very long for a cooking video. But what I'll do is I'll try to save this and show you what it looks like in the bitter end. I would imagine you're wondering, walnut milk? Yes, walnut milk. I took a quarter cup of walnuts, which is actually 200 calories. Woo! And I stuck it in my blender with a cup of water, some salt, some vanilla, and a little bit of sugar. And I whirred that sucker up, which really makes a concentrate. you got to remember there's 200 calories in that, right? Plus a little sugar. So I just take it when I want to bake or make something with milk and I'll add half of that and half water and uh, use it as that. I, I made a lovely um, 
cornmeal muffin, and I thought to myself after I made it, dang, I could make breakfast Indian pudding, and tomorrow I'm going to try that out. That would consist of cornmeal, eggs, sugar, lots of spices, mmm, mmm, and raisins. I do like raisins, and raisins are traditional in Indian pudding. It's very hard to find the actual recipe anymore, and I have it somewhere in one of my books. It takes a long, long time to cook it, like at 250, like for hours. It is so divine. If you ever get up to the White Mountains, there is a restaurant in Glen, New Hampshire called the Red Parka, and they have it every day. They're only open in the evening for dessert. Mm. You walk into that place, and if you have the sense of smell, which I don't, oh, the smell. You can smell the Indian pudding, and they sure do a fine job on their bread and salad bar. It was Dennis in my favorite spot in the White Mountains. Now I'm going to have to go alone. Oh, well. Jonathan Seafood in Conway, New Hampshire, was our other favorite restaurant spot. We'd find the cheapest hotel we could, and I don't think that's a thing anymore. We could find a place for about 60, and then things went up to 75, and then they went up to 90, and now I haven't a clue what North Conway would cost these days. There are a couple of smaller, old-timey hotels which you might be able to cut a deal with. I don't know. But anyway, I'll probably camp when I go up there in a vehicle. But I'm going, and that's all there is to it. So this is all finished, and I'm going to take this and put it here. Lack of so. Add a touch of avocado oil because this is hot now and you're not supposed to overheat um, olive oil. High heats. I started it out really lightly and uh, yeah. So now we're going to... I probably should cut this chicken even smaller. I probably will eat like, I don't know what, like that much in a serving and I'll cut those up nicely. Mm. Raw chicken. Gotta be careful of that stuff. 